Hey guys, it's Almost Addicted here, and today I'm going to show you this awesome tree house. And uh, yeah, it's a Minecraft tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make this very nice tree house. So, how to build a tree house in Minecraft. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you how to kind of make it your own, and every single one will be slightly different, but it will still have the aspects of looking like this, which is beautiful. As you can see, it's got two floors, and it's even got a third floor. Red uh, at the right hand side, as you can see. So, yeah, without further ado, let's build this awesome tree house. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, press subscribe, and then there'll be a little bell button. Make sure you press the little bell button and just hit that little notification sign, press save, and there you're done. Make sure you slap that like button, comment something down below. So the first thing I would do in um, building a tree house like this, I was going to start off and just use survival stuff. So oak and spruce, and that's pretty much it. That's all we're going to need, really. Uh, so we're going to have one, two, three, four. Now, you can build these up as high as you like. You really can. So it doesn't matter. So we're going to have a three gaps in between one, two, three, four. We're going to do four pillars of these with three gaps in the middle. Um, just like this you can even have four gaps to make it even bigger and then at the end we're gonna have just uh, the one gap there now uh, what we're gonna do is just simply just run this going round the build and you can make it as large as you like I'm just kind of showing you the main foundation on how to sh um, do a small one uh, like this one but obviously you can adapt this and make it even bigger so as you see I've just done a platform there now for this platform here I'm gonna bring it all the way around until we get to this point here and we're just going to stop it there just like that as you can see now here what I did is got two little spruce things at the side like that and then we can actually put our ladders going up there but we'll put that up a little bit later now at this point this is where we're going to make it wider now you can make it as wide as you like I'm going to put it up to about this point where we've got in fact we'll put it here so it'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we can do nine at this side as well so all the way across here and uh, you can definitely put some little bits of overhangs and stuff like wherever you'd like. Like I've got a little overhang here as you can see. Now width wise, one, two, three, four, five here. And then I've got a two width there. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna put it out two here. And um, if you would like, you can put two at this side. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Like um, I'll show you here, like at this side. As you can see, I've got one at that side, but at this side, I've decided not to do one. But I did a little balcony there. So if you don't want it, one at this side, or you want two at this side, it's completely adaptable. That's the good thing about this build. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go up by one, two, three. And then we're gonna go from this point, one, two, three. So we've got two gap there. We can do exactly the same at the other side. If you want a three gap here, you're more than welcome to do that as well. It's completely adaptable. Uh, I think that's the good thing about it. Uh, so across here, we're just gonna basically square it off. We'll square it off over here as well. So just coming down here, just making a nice little box. And that's the thing about tree houses. Um, if there's an area that you think, well, that's not gonna look so good, you can always make it a little bit better. So across here, we're gonna go like this. Now at this side here, as you can see, I've just got a kind of, I think I've done a three actually, just done a three. So if you want to make it four, you can do four. If you want to do a three, you can make it three. If you just want to turn it into a dirt block here, you can do a dirt block. But what I'm going to do for this one, we're going to go five across here. And we're going to go two, maybe even three. Let's do this. Let's do, let's do um, four here and turn this one into a two one. So this side will be a little bit different which doesn't matter so much now across here I'm gonna put it out a little bit more and it's completely adaptable these bottom ones you can kind of do them however you like now for wrapping around here I've got the trap doors and stuff as you can see I've just got the trap doors and wrapped it round and you can kind of make it your own you can put your trap doors where you want to put your trap doors so one two three I'm gonna put over here I think I'm gonna work with the trap doors on this bottom bit as well and when it gets to the top bit you can do exactly the same as well um, so yeah, we're gonna build this round here as well. I think I'm gonna have a nice 2-1 like I did on the other one there So get that and when it gets to the top You're probably wondering how am I gonna get all those bushes and stuff But there is a way that you can grow trees on top of the thing so it's all done for you Which is a good thing now here. What I did is I got one two one two and Then I just kind of built it round like this going all the way to the end build it round here so if you wanted to fatten it up and you wanted more space out here you can do that as well so for the roof what I did is get this going all the way across overhanging by one and then I did the same at this side I'll just change the time real quick 
it's just making it nice and light so we can see and um, yeah so what I did is start by doing these roofs and just bringing these roofs up putting a one underneath and we don't close it together because this is how we get the second floor so I go like that and turn it out like that I'm gonna do exactly the same on this side real quickly so I've got those two sides up now what I decided to do is go all the way along with one extra like this all the way along on the other side like this and then I started building up this platform here until it got to the point where it's level with that I think I went a little bit further so let's take that out of the way yeah I went a little bit further and got that out so that is one yeah two three I think it's three past it or maybe even more who knows Wait, one two yeah two past it so we go one two past it like that and bring this one all the way up so making sure it's level with this very top one and then one two extra on top like that and then what I did here we've got that already and we can build this going across this is where I think I put the bedroom I think I did go this all the way across here and as you can see we've got that little branch there so we're gonna take full advantage of this branch sticking out here and we're gonna bring it up the top this is actually gonna go up so this is our ladder to get up to the top now on the side here what I decided to do is get this here and um, I think I put it out a little bit more actually because yeah I've got the fences there so at the side here I got one two one two which means we can have a three on each side and wrap trap doors around it so I'll just quickly wrap these trap doors around it and yeah this is so how you can make it your own you can kind of if you wanted those there as well you could do that so I'm gonna put this over here so we've got a little trap doors and then we're gonna seal this unit in because I think I'm gonna place a bed here something like that so we've got a nice little bedroom there and we're gonna have a ladder going up there also now we've got that going to there and then we can start on our roof now I think let's do it this height and I think we should and do it up to that point but at the same time we've got that okay we'll put another dirt block but it's just above it and we're gonna go like this one two three we're gonna wrap trap doors around these two as well okay we've got that now at the side and the back here what I did is I got these going up to the top just out the side and we're gonna go one two so for this we'll count one across one two like that and this is so we've got our little platform up here now as you can see out here I've got this platform and it's three wide and making sure we're on here now I think that goes all the way through we've got this poking out the other end so we can actually take this out and make it a little bit wider if we would like but I kind of like it how I've done this see see what I mean it's a little bit further so if you want to keep it there you can keep it there but if you want to make it a little bit wider you can do this and this is this is the beauty of it there's you don't have to take this out what I'm doing now you could keep it as a small platform you go like this and then basically put a corner on each thing if you want to widen it even more you could do this as well to get this on here so it's completely up to you so don't worry about me taking blocks out because it's gonna be your own style it's gonna look how you want so we count one two one two and then we're gonna put these round as well because this is gonna actually keep us in like that we're gonna count one two up here and I just put like a little topping on so what I did is I got this which is the spruce and then I just put a little roof on it so I'm gonna quickly do that okay we've got our little roof on and I just took this to the very top now this is where we can actually put our little things around it little extras get this on here this on here and then this is where we get this roof that combines into here as you can see now at the top here I've got like dirt which is like one two three one two three one two three just like that and then we can put our stairs at the side of this and then get another one the stair going at the side of it here and then we can do what we did where we can do this and this goes over the top and then we've got a very peak one at the top like that and then it just comes over if you want to remove those and just bring them up to that dirt point you can do that as well and we can fill that little bit in you could maybe have a little entrance going up from there but if you don't want one you can just fill it in get that across there and this is where we're going to be growing our trees 
I'll just quickly wrap these trapdoors around this and these other ones. Like that, we can always add flowers. Now, what I forgot to say, what you can do is put these little bits in here as well. So on these peaks of the roof, uh, I think we've got two at this side. You can uh, put these in to add extra detail. There's more, more stuff to put in, but it doesn't really matter. And then across here, obviously we're gonna fill this in. Fill this in here, here. If you want to actually keep in with these ones, these ones could connect into that one. And you could maybe take this out, extend this a little bit, I'm just kind of giving you some different options and then you could have like a doorway here instead. Maybe if you wanted to keep to um, the stuff that's underground, you could have these going up into the ceiling just so it's a little bit more legitimate. You could have like these, you could have glass windows, you don't have to have them like this. If you want to seal this, so it's like that as you go in, you can add all your stuff. Now for the doorway into it, um, I put this behind it, but what I did is just got a fence. Um, Let's get a fence out um, instead of a door. I don't know, it's got that kind of, uh, I just kind of like it, it's, uh, it's a little bit better. And then obviously look how I've done it here. So the doorway is just normal, I've just kept those pillars there and then I've just put that over the top. So you can do that if you like, obviously put these flowers in, we've got the supports underneath to do and we've got these trees to grow to make it look super good. So let's get these trees out now. So what I did is get some oak and then get some bone meal. So let's get the bone meal out. Obviously you can wait for them to grow, but uh, I'm in creative, so I'm not gonna. Now I'm gonna put four. With luck, we will get at least one big one. This is the idea anyway. We should get at least one. And the good thing about using oak wood, um, so it's an oak tree house basically, um, is that they grow together. Some of the other trees don't grow together. I think there's some that actually grow together but there's some that do not, which is not a good thing. So you don't want to do that. Grow, grow, Biggie, grow. 10 years later. Right, let's see. And then we look up, see what it looks like. Boom, see there? Ho, ho, ho. So now it looks like a legitimate tree house. Now we need the supports underneath. Now this is what I did for the supports. I've got some spruce. Now you don't have to do it like this. You could only do, you could do just the one. But what I did is one, and then one, two. One, one, two one one two now for here i did one one two um at the back here i did one one two one one two one one two for this one i think i just had it connecting into there and then just two little pillared supports there one at the back you don't have to do this much one one two if you don't like that you can just have the one supporting across here just have the one and maybe put some slab underneath um, it's completely optional. Obviously, if it's higher, it'd look a lot better. And then I put like some bushes underneath just so it kind of looks a little bit better. So get some randomized bushes in there and stuff just so it kind of looks like that treehouse sort of feel. And then I've got the bone mill around it, it kind of blends it all in together so it looks a little bit better. And now we can start to work on the interior, a little bit of upstairs and adding a little bit of stuff. So, so far, I'm liking that. And across here, if you want, if you want to add like little extra bits in, you could have stuff like this. You could have this going across here so you can't get out that bit. Maybe you just want to get out that bit and leave that bit there. If you just want this going across there, keep that in there. You don't like that fence, take rid, get rid of that fence. Put a little side thing on here. There's so much you can do. You can kind of, kind of have that in there and you can obviously add the windows in. You, do, you can just fence it up if you'd like. Um, so there, there is a few options like here, go like that. You could maybe just have the oak wood and just trail it across the top. So that's another cool thing that you could do there. And then obviously, once you add these flowers in and stuff, it really does, no, drop in my flowers, which is never a good thing. Right, so we get these flowers in. Obviously we'll add some lights so you don't get creepers spawning around the place. You can put the lights on stuff like, like here, here and here and stuff. Just places that you'd usually think that kind of lights up the place. Let's get these on. And then of course we've got that ladder to do. Um, you can even put them on the outside here or you just want them in here. You've got quite an exposed bedroom, which I don't mind. It's kind of nice because obviously you're in a tree house. On the sides here, you'd have some here. Obviously in your uh, room there and there. And we've got our essential crafting which is looking quite good at night, but we're gonna change it. 
Right, so let's start doing this interior, making it look a little bit nicer. So obviously, we're going to have a ladder going up to the top, so we're at the top here. If you want a ladder going up here as well, you could have that. I wonder if we could get onto the roof that way, if there is a way. Ooh, maybe. I don't know. It's entirely up to you, but I'm going to kind of get rid of this bit here. Maybe plop out a window there. And then we go through, and then what should we do? Let's see. We've got this ladder going all the way up to the top here, so we'll get that ready. We'll get this going up to the top so it can actually reach the top. Now, at the top here, might put something like... Um, get an anvil or something, so it can do something up here. Maybe a chest around the back of here as well. Uh, let's go into the bedroom. Uh, into the bedroom. And then we could maybe take that out, have a chest there. And if you make that half slab, or, um, no, sorry, a thing, you can still get in the chest. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, crafting table at the side, maybe you want a furnace. If you want to add a little chimney into the place, you could get that and have this running through the whole of the building, if you would like. And then um, at the side, you could have maybe like a little chair. You could have um, maybe some bookshelves at the side here. Um, enchantment table as well there's so so much you can do uh, you can put your paintings on the walls and things like that you could have a place here where you could keep some secret chests on the outside of the building or you could have chests going all the way up here up to the top and then change the direction of this going down here and um, yeah there's quite a lot you can do adding like different stuff and um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this there is your new tree house it's definitely cool, definitely adaptable, and if you want to adapt to even more, I'll show you a little secret what you can do that not many people might do or might know about. Right, so we'll get this, we'll close this up, and we'll get our fence here. We'll get this, and what we can do is we can dig into the tree like this, and then we can make another den inside the tree. So we can dig this all out and then we've got a secret place where you could actually make a full enchantment table that goes to level 30 or something else. You can obviously hide the bushes. Nobody's going to see you in here so you've got like a, a proper secret tree den within a tree house. Look at that room. There's loads of room. Let's get this. These going down here. You've got a secret entrance where you can kind of jump out. You can maybe put some waterfalls going down here. Have some more cookers. It's just loads more room. It's definitely... Uh, and then you could definitely you could definitely get a three enchantment table in that big tree so long as you get a big tree house but there you go guys really hope you enjoy make sure you slap the heckers out of that like button where we need that entrance so we can whoa there we go so i really hope you enjoyed this i've enjoyed doing this i think it's quite a cool design and um, if you want to check out i've actually done a jungle tree house a jungle village tree house so if you want to check out that, uh, we'll put that down in the description. I think it, people like it because it's got quite a lot of views. It's got over a million six hundred views. But as you can see here, I put this little fence there for some different detail. I put this across here and put the windows there. There's so many different ways that you can kind of make it your own, really. So there is your beautiful tree house, and I shall catch you in the next video, guys. Peace.